Hi, in this video, I'm going to go over our Word's display options. So I show you how the document can be displayed on your screen, and it also gives you options for how the document is printed and what you want to include when you're printing it out. So before we begin, I want to show you a document that has the options turned on. You can see that I've got highlighting within my document, my paragraph markers show up. If I click on a hyperlink, it gives me a screen tip on what to do. If I click on an object, it shows me my anchors. If I continue to scroll through my document, you can see where I've set a tab within it and so forth. So I'm going to go back up to the top of the document. In order to set your display options, you need to go into the backstage. So we're going to come up and click on File. Come down to Options and click. It's going to open up the Word Options dialog box. We'll click on Display in the left column. And now we're seeing all of our display options. And again, this is how you change how the document content is displayed on the screen and when printed. We'll start at the top and work our way down. First of all, for the page display options, we've told it to show us the white space between the pages. And what this means is that if I have headers and footers in my document, I'll be able to see them as I'm scrolling through the document. I'll also see my margins around the document. The second option is show highlighter marks. If I've got things highlighted within my document, I will see those. If I don't want to see that, I can uncheck it. The third option is show document tooltips on hover. That's like my hyperlinks. So now, if I go and turn all of these off, say OK, you can see my document looks a lot different. My highlight is gone. If I come over here and hover over win, I don't see the tip. And I don't see the spacing for my uh, margins at the bottom, so I couldn't see a header or footer if it was in my document. So now let's go in and take a look at the second section, which is our formatting marks. So again, we're going to come over to File, Options, Display. Always show these formatting marks on the screen. Now I've got it set to show all of them. I'm going to turn them off and we'll go back to our document and you'll see how different it looks. I know it doesn't look as busy, but it also doesn't allow us to see certain things. I don't see my paragraph markers anymore. If I click on an object, I don't see where it's anchored. My tab mark is gone. I don't see my spacing in the document. So let's go back and turn it on again and take a look again at how it changes the view of the document. File. Options, Display, Show All. See how different it makes it? Now I can see my spacing. I can see my anchor. I've got my tab. Again, that's File, Options, Display. So you can set it to see what you want to be able to see. Now, one thing that I always do is I always show all my markings so that as I'm editing the document, I'm not inadvertently taking out things that I really need to keep within the document. Our third options are our printing options. What do we want printed with the document? Do we want to print drawings created in Word? And what that means is that if you select this option, it'll print all drawing objects such as shapes and text boxes. So if you want to print out your document very quickly so you can edit and review the text of the document without all the objects, that's a great option, especially if there's a lot of information in text boxes. Selecting the second option, print background colors and images, what that's going to do is, say for instance your document was given a gray background and you don't want to have to print that out using all your toner, you can uncheck the box and it'll also speed up the process. Third option, print document properties. We check this option, say OK. I'm going to go ahead and print the document. I'll pull it up on the screen so you can see what that's going to look like. So I printed the document to PDF so that we could go ahead and take a look at it on the screen. Here's the document that I printed out. If I go all the way to the bottom of it, the last page is the um, document properties page. And by checking the print document properties, this is what's going to go with the document when you print it. Let's go back to our document. Go back in. Going to uncheck it. Our other options, print hidden text. If you select this, um, it'll print all text that is formatted as hidden. 
Update fields before printing, the next option. If you have any fields within your document, it's going to go ahead and update those before it prints your document out. So you want to be very careful with this if you've got fields within your document that you do not want to update unless you physically go in and tell it to update them. Do not check this box. And the final option is update link data before printing. So within this document, if you have links to data set up before you print it, if you have this option checked, it will go and update those links. So again, be very careful when you're setting the print options because it's going to change the way your document looks. And also, if you check these, it will update them before printing, but it's also updated within the document, so it will be updated when you save your document. The display options I usually check are show white space, show highlighting, show document tooltips, show all formatting, print drawings created in Word. The other options I come in and set as I'm working on specific documents. Say OK and go back to our document. This way, when I pull up a document that somebody has sent to me or a document I'm working on, I can see what I've done within the document. I can see anything I've got highlighted within it. I've got my um, paragraph marker set. I can see all my hidden text. I can see my tabs and so forth when I'm working on the document. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. If there's any information you would like me to go over, please let me know as well in the comments below. If you like this video, please go ahead and like it and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.